We are continuing coverage tonight. We now know who owned the van, which we showed you caught fire on University Drive in Fargo. You can also see this video behind me that happened over the weekend. The vintage van belonged to NDSU's previous marching band director, and as Valley News team's Anna Ballweber reports, he lost much more than just the van that day. What seemed like a normal trip to the gas station quickly turned into a disaster for Sigurd Johnson, whose vintage Volkswagen van suddenly caught fire after a camping trip. I spent probably about 10 seconds trying to restart it until someone drove up fast and just yelled out the car and said, your back, the back of your van is on fire. The fire department was called immediately, but as the flame shot out, he was left to do nothing but watch. It was a pretty scary. I didn't know if anything was going to blow up. He was luckily able to get out unharmed. The van, however, is a total loss a loss he and his wife are left to deal with. I got out safe and sound. I was scared, but more numb, I think, than anything else. I mean, I just, I didn't think this was gonna happen. As former marching band director at NDSU, he says this was his retirement van, an opportunity to create lasting memories for years to come. We had all these um, local uh, state parks and, and places lined up and we were all ready to go, including this Friday. but. That's not going to happen, so that's, that's how it goes. Feeling like the memories already made are now gone, he says this is almost like a sense of grieving. It's a vehicle, but I think it's still people understand that, that you can grow attached to things like that, for sure. Attached to the 1980s van, processing this loss will take time. A time to be grateful that just memories were lost and not his life. In Fargo, Annabelle Weber, Valley News Live. He says he has no plans of finding a different van anytime soon.